Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, we are going to talk about dandruff, dry scalp, product buildup, and I'm going to teach you guys what I do to keep my scalp as clean and flake free as possible. Yeah. If you search this video because you are experiencing really bad flakes or your scalp is itchy or sore or there's just something unusual going on with your scalp, um, you can certainly try some of these things. But if they don't work and your scalp either gets worse or it just doesn't clear up, I highly, highly recommend that you just go and see your doctor or a dermatologist. I'm going to leave a link to three different videos in my description box. One will help you determine whether you have dandruff or just dry flaky scalp and that is really important to figure out before you start trying to treat it at home um, because let's say you try to combat your dry scalp with dandruff treatments it's going to make it a whole lot worse. I'm going to start this video by talking about the thing that I know the most about and that is dry flaky scalp. So I have dry scalp, dry hair and very dry skin um, and I do get dry flaky scalp uh, on occasion. Now before I started the Curly Girl Method, and guys this is not going to be a big promo for the Curly Girl Method because a lot of you that watch my channel for my tips and stuff you don't necessarily follow it, but I am going to say one thing. When I used to use sulfate shampoo all the time, um, it would further dry out my scalp and make the problem a whole lot worse. So I am being honest, before I started the Curly Girl Method, I had dry scalp more often and I had to exfoliate my scalp and try to moisturize my scalp a lot more often than I do now. I would say I have been flake free or virtually flake free for almost two years now. And I think it's because I developed like a balanced hair routine um, and I learned some tricks for treating the flakes before they get really bad. What if you already have the flakes so let's say you've either been experimenting with products or you're just using shampoo that is a little bit too drying or something like that or it's a change of seasons. This happens to me sometimes in the winter and now you have all of these fine white flakes um, and you really notice them when you wear a black shirt. You guys know what I'm talking about. But let's say you already have them. How do you get rid of them? Well the number one thing that people do wrong I think is when they have flakes, they assume that it's dandruff and they use dandruff shampoo. If it's dry, flaky scalp, you're going to further dry out your scalp and make the problem a whole lot worse. Um, what I suggest doing is trying to remove the flakes through exfoliation and I'm going to tell you a DIY that works really, really well just with stuff that you have in your house. You don't have to go buy something. Um, and then after you get rid of the flakes, then you might want to try shampooing your hair a little more gently and a little less and conditioning your hair more often and that's going to prevent them from coming back. So what is the DIY? So something that a stylist told me years ago that has worked for me ever since um, and it sounds bizarre is you are going to make your own scalp exfoliator out of conditioner like a lightweight conditioner preferably one without silicone in it um, and sugar. You can use white sugar or brown sugar. You just mix equal parts. You take it into the shower in a little container and after you wash your hair with a sulfate free shampoo you can just take a little bit of the mixture on your fingertips and you put it right at the roots and you just really really scrub it into your scalp all over. You don't want to be doing this under warm water because it's going to melt the sugar too quickly. Um, and the sugar does melt eventually. The sugar does rinse out really, really well, guys. So don't think that you're going to end up with like sticky, sugary hair. It does rinse out very well. I was skeptical before I tried it. You just want to really, really, really scrub your scalp and then rinse that with warm water and then you can condition your hair as normal. And that should be enough. Just that one time to get rid of the flakes. Um, you may want to do it twice in a row. So like on your next two wash days. Uh, but for me, even with a lot of flakes, if I'm very meticulous in scrubbing my scalp, that is more than enough um, to clean those dry skin flakes off my scalp. The first thing I want to talk about has to do with shampoo. Um, and again, like I just mentioned, when I was using shampoo with sulfate in it all the time, and I was shampooing my hair frequently, um, I had a lot more flakes. My scalp is naturally extremely, extremely dry. Um, if you have a very oily scalp, then some of these things I'm going to mention in this part of the video may not apply to you. But if you have dry, flaky scalp, um, I would definitely suggest either cutting out the sulfate shampoo altogether and using sulfate-free shampoo, 
um, and just shampooing your hair less often. So right now, I only shampoo my hair every, I don't know, probably 10 days on average. And when I first started the Curly Girl Method, it was even less than that. It was like every 30 days. Um, I wish I could tell you how often you should shampoo your hair to keep your scalp balanced and keep your own scalp moisturized. But all of our scalps and all of our hair is so different that it's going to take some trial and error. So what I suggest is start by sulfate-free shampooing your hair every, I don't know, once a week. And then look at your hair and evaluate your hair. If your hair um, and your scalp are greasy, even after doing this a little while, you may have to sulfate-free shampoo your hair um, every three days, or maybe it's every other day. It completely depends on you. So what I'm trying to say is just to try as hard as you can to use trial and error and try to discover how often you should be shampooing your hair. That's the first thing I wanna talk about is just shampoo. And I know that was kind of vague, but I just want you to think about it um, and figure out if you're possibly shampooing your hair with something that is too drying or shampooing your hair too often. The second thing I do to combat my dry flaky scalp is that I make sure my scalp is moisturized. So this is part of my two-step uh, co-washing routine. So like I said, I only use shampoo on my hair every 10 days. That might not be enough for you or that might be too much for you. Um, but I only do it every 10 days or so. So in between those 10 days, I either refresh my hair, like I did today, um, or I co-wash my hair, and I do this in two steps. So the first step is just the washing step, and I use conditioner basically just to create slip and detangle my hair so that I can use my fingertips and warm water to scrub my scalp. So when I'm doing that, I'm moisturizing my scalp, and then I rinse that off very well with warm water. Um, then I add conditioner to the shaft and the ends of my hair, scrunch it in, and rinse it with cold water. But um, not drying out my scalp and then conditioning my hair and my scalp well are what I believe um, led me to having a flake-free scalp. Product buildup is something else that causes flakes. Um, sometimes these flakes can be mistaken for uh, dandruff because they are a little bit off-white in color. A good way to find out if your flakes are actually product buildup is if you take your fingernail and kind of scratch it off your head, um, it will be off-white normally. And when you rub it between your thumb and your forefinger, a lot of the time it kind of turns into like a slimy, creamy consistency. It also should smell like products uh, unless it has been going on for a really long time and then you end up with something nasty growing on your scalp. But if it is just product buildup, um, you should be able to tell that it's product buildup in those two ways. So if it is product buildup, what I recommend is that you do the same thing that you do for the dry flaky scalp. So you shampoo your hair with sulfate-free shampoo. If it's really, really bad, or if you're questioning whether or not you ended up with product buildup because maybe you were using products that had ingredients in them that weren't water soluble or just contained a lot of heavy butter or oils, or if you've been experimenting with products and you're just not sure and you just feel like you have a ton of buildup, in those cases, and this has happened to me in the past, I would use a regular shampoo with sulfate in it. I have used my baby shampoo, I've used sunlight dish soap, um, which is really hard on your hair, but it will get rid of that product buildup. So what I recommend, again, is just really shampooing your hair really well to get rid of that product. Um, and then, if it's still there, you can try the sugar and conditioner trick. And then from that point on, just try really hard to really massage your scalp with your fingertips in the shower to make sure you're cleaning your scalp, rinse it really well with warm water, and then condition your hair as usual. Let's talk about dandruff a little bit. And this is the thing that I know the least about because I haven't really had a whole lot of experience with dandruff. If you watch the videos that I posted in the description box below and you, you know, do a little bit of your own research and you really believe that you have dandruff and not just dry flaky scalp or product buildup, then you should go to the pharmacy, talk to a pharmacist, and just use an over-the-counter dandruff shampoo. Let's say you use that over-the-counter dandruff shampoo and it works really well and you get rid of your dandruff. Well, how do you prevent it from coming back? Um, there are so many causes of dandruff and I can't get into all of it in this video, but some of the main causes are basically just a very oily scalp because that is an environment that bacteria and fungus love to grow in. So a very oily scalp, 
Or, and this is kind of confusing, if you're somebody like me who has very dry, flaky scalp and you let those dead skin cells and flakes just build, 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 build up and you never exfoliate them off, you could end up with dandruff. Another thing that can cause dandruff is product buildup. Um, so a way to prevent dandruff from happening is just to try to keep your scalp balanced. So there's different types of products that you can purchase for this, but I think what I'm recommending is just Again, discovering how often you should be shampooing your hair, shampooing it properly, and really using your fingertips and exfoliating your scalp. Um, so if you have an oily scalp and dry hair, this can be a big problem. And this is actually a question that I get a lot on my channel. How do you shampoo your roots and not have it affect the rest of your hair? What I have done in the past is I will go in the shower, I'll take either my deep conditioning treatment or just a regular conditioner, I wet my hair and then I apply that conditioner um, just past my roots, so like the very top of my hair shaft right down to the ends of my hair. I gotta fix my shirt here, guys. This shirt is not a good video making shirt. Um, anyway, so I apply that conditioner all the way down my hair and I leave my roots um, conditioner free. Then I take the shampoo on my fingertips and I really, really scrub my scalp at the roots. So what happens is, the conditioner that's on the shaft and ends of your hair um, is coating your hair at that time. So any of the suds or any of the shampoo that's running over your hair is either being mixed with the conditioner or it's just sliding over the top of the conditioner and you're not drying your hair out. Um, and that seems to work really, really well. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and a big ol' thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you on Friday in my next curly hair video. Bye.